is another example of uh, electrostatics for a charged particle moving through an electric field. How much work is done? Oh, worst off. Let's look at our setup. I've got a uh, plate, an electron, and it's connected to a 45 volt battery. This electron is going to travel across the 45 volt potential. If I look at my givens at this point, I have a charge. It's a charge of an electron of negative 1.6 times the negative 19, except we're going to ignore the negative uh, sign for a lot of our calculations because we're just going to look for the magnitude of the numbers and reason out directions. And the voltage is 45 volts that it's traveling across. So number 62, how much work is done in traveling across the plates and joules? So work is equal to Q times V. So that's pretty straightforward. It's the givens in themselves. So negative 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 coulombs times 45 volts. That gives me 7.2 times 10 to the 18, negative 18 joules. But remember, we don't keep the negative sign. We're just going to drop it because I don't need the charge. I can reason out if energy is gained or lost. Now I can also figure this out in electron volts. Because work is equal to the, an electron's charge, how many electron charges you have, that's 1, times 45, that's the potential you're crossing. So 1 times 45 is 45 EVs. But if I do any further calculations, like later I'm going to calculate velocity, I cannot use EVs. I've got to convert it over to joules, because joules are the standard unit in the SI system. All right, so let's move on to number 63. Does electrons slow down or speed up? Well, electrons negatively charge as it pops through the plates. The opposite plate is positive because it's a, it is attached to the positive side of the battery. So the electron will be attracted towards the opposite plate because it's positive. So because it's attracted towards it, it's going to speed up. So it's going to um, so it's going to speed up as it goes across the plates. Number 64, what form of energy does the electron have when it reaches the other side? Well, it's moving. That's all. It's just moving. So when it reaches the other side, it's going to have kinetic energy because it's moving. 65. How much, or sorry, how fast is the electron traveling when it reaches the opposite plate, assuming it started from rest? So remember, when doing this calculation, you cannot use the EVs. It's 45 EVs, but that's not helpful. You've got to put it in joules. Okay, so let's go back and remember what work is. Work is defined a couple ways. One of the ways it's defined is the change in the total energy. So the work is equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. But the problem says the electron starts at rest. So if the problem, I'm sorry, if the electron starts at rest, the initial kinetic energy is zero. So the work is the final kinetic energy minus zero, so the work is the kinetic energy. So 7.2 times 10 to the negative 18 joules is equal to 1 half 9.109 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms times V squared. Solving for, for the velocity gives me a really big number, 39, 75, 99, 5.6 meters per second. Now, ignoring sig figs here.